I'm ready. Let's light this candle. <laughs> then, let's do it. Let's just do it. They sent it out. A, they sent out a, a, a search party for us. Oh. We've been gone so long. This Did is chill for us? today. Oh. No, they didn't. Well, no, they didn't. Oh. No, it's chill for today. Have we <laughs> got things to talk about? First, we? Yeah, we do oh, a lot. Okay. Actually, let's first go over our weight loss. Oh, now, okay. now I don't think. I don't know where we really were last time as far as... Uh, no, we haven't made that much progress since last time. I don't remember the last weigh-in we did, but it does it matter? Uh, we've well, had weight losses, yeah, though. Yeah, this past week I lost two and a half pounds. I lost two, so I'm up to 27 pounds. And I'm 26 and a half. Rocking, baby. So, We're rocking those yeah. numbers. We're rocking that scale. Weight Watchers, freestyle. It works. Gives it, give it the props. And you eat pretty good. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's very if exciting you, for us. If you like a lot of bread and pasta and potatoes and desserts, it's not the diet for you. No, wait a second. That's not fair. That's not fair. Well, you can have some bread and some potatoes, but... Yeah. You, you know, can have you, pasta. Yeah, you, you can, can have, have anything you want. You can. You can. You can have anything you want. But uh, we're trying to be fairly good and not use a lot of the no. weekly points. So uh, no, because we we're on, we want to get this done. Yeah. We want to see. I have this. I had this thirty pound goal that I wanted to get to to where I was my lowest where I was in this process a couple of years back, and I'm three pounds from those promised that promised land of getting to that one place where I can say, okay, now I'm back to starting. Uh, I'm like a ground zero when I yeah. start going going. And being the overachiever I am, my right arm gained 30 pounds, so I want to take that off, then I'm going to start working on the left arm. And we got this move ahead yeah. of us. So Maybe. We, oh, well, we'll, yeah, we got to Maybe. talk about that. So anyway, I've lost 27, he's lost 20, 26 and a half. 26 and a half, so we're doing really well. Yep. I've got a sparkling glass of, uh, what is this, seltzer? Sparkling water. Spark I got Mineral a glass water. Of, yeah. Mm. Very refreshing. It's important to stay hydrated. It is. All right. I, I wish it was vodka, but... Yeah. You can have vodka. Yeah. Costly. Infrequent. Very costly. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I don't know where again. We got the house appraised. We got the house inspected. Got all the paperwork done. Got a closing date, which was supposed to be yesterday. Yesterday, yes. Go ahead. And we've since had to extend because the buyer's um, down payment is coming from a letter of credit from their bank. Uh, in Hawaii, uh, uh, on based the sale. On, the, on the sale of yeah, their house, I just wanted and, to add that. Uh, they've uh, had their house appraised and all that, but supposedly oh. the bank is uh, dragging their feet. So, uh, so now our closing date is March eighth. Yeah. But on the other end of that is uh, in in compensation for us agreeing to an expanded closing date we added on another two weeks of free rent. So even though the house is supposed to close March 8th, we then don't have to be out of this place until the 21st of May. Oh. And we live from March 8th till the 21st of May without any mortgage or That's nice, but I'm rent. out of here. I want to get Yeah, we want to get, we wanna get to uh, yeah. Boise and get going as soon as possible. But uh, and then see, this, this, was, this is a contingent offer. We didn't. We were told it was not well, a contingent really, offer. You know, mm. it wasn't contingent on the sale of their house, no. but it was dependent upon them gaining this Money. letter of credit. So anyway, it's been a real pain, and we were supposed to go to Boise this this past weekend. We were going to go house hunting because the house was kind of close today. You know. Yeah, but it was kind of a blessing in disguise it was. because uh, oh, the, weather. the weather in Eastern Oregon is not oh, good. The roads are snow packed and. Uh, Oh. So not our favorite driving mm -mm. conditions, but uh, no, so it, we'll, we'll wait and see. It worked it out goes. the way yeah. it's supposed to work out. You know, yeah. I'll tell you that it's divine. Everything is for a reason. If this doesn't pan out here, it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay with it all. It's just a hassle. It's the waiting. So anyway, that's kind of that on mm -hmm. that. Um, we've been online been looking at some houses, and there's some neat places opening yeah. up. So Most of them more expensive than yeah. we want to spend. Oh, they were so close. We saw a beautiful house for about $50,000 more than we want to spend. So big six burner wolf stove yeah. in oh, the, the kitchen. kitchen. Uh, Sub-zero refrigerator. I don't care about the rest of the gorgeous. house. That kitchen, yeah. this was great. Okay. So he, we've been trying to get our medical appointments. By the way, I have my oncology appointment next 
The seventh. The seventh. I have my blood work coming up this weekend. I'll let y'all know how that works out. So we've been trying to get appointments kind of booked up so we can get our medical stuff done here on this end before having to start with a new insurance company and all that stuff. So he calls about getting a dental appointment. I can't get one. It's too early. He can get his <laughs> oh, booked yeah. in. Well, we're on. You know, we're kind of juggling an appointment. Can can we call you back and let you know? So the, I guess it was the next yeah, day. It was yesterday. At eight oh six. Yeah, they call it eight oh six and want to know if I can be there at eight ten. Eight ten. No. He said, I'm downstairs in the parking garage, no, just waiting for you to call. The transporter is down right now, can so I can't that? beam over. I just. Uh, he said eight ten. I could hear his end of the conversation, and I looked at the clock, and I'm thinking. It is only eight oh six, isn't it? I was so good. That was yeah. so funny. So he's got his dental appointment booked. I yeah. don't have one, but but I got my hair booked for Saturday. No, for this Thursday. Thursday. Get my hair cut, cut and colored. Getting those blood, low lights. Blood tests in the morning, hair in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited because this looks like drowned rat. Drowned rat. I'm at the grocery store today. And we're picking up some stuff, and I picked up a bunch of green apples to make that delicious scoopable apple pie that everyone raves about because it's so darn good. So I, you know, you little plastic produce bags, you know, and sometimes, you know, they, I have problems with them. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, I'm listening. I have problems just... with them sometimes, you know, they just won't open, you know, you're kind of messing with trying to get the darn thing open. So this lady is standing there, she's picking out apples, and she is seeing me do this. And she says, can't get it open? And I said, no, darn, you know, darn thing. And, She's, would you like me to help you? And I'm thinking, this is old. This is when you know you're old. It's when they call you Deary or Hun, or they say, can I help you? I was almost, almost socked her one. Life always reminds you that you're old when you're old. I'll tell like you. Like yesterday, my baby sister, my yeah. baby sister, the youngest of our family, How did you became 63 years old. 63. Well. Oh my gosh. And. Just this morning, I got an email. Um, mm. I, I don't. We don't live close to where I went to high school in San Francisco, but I'm on the alumni email list. And uh, had a friend in high school, very tall, thin, athletic, uh, always upbeat. You know, always uh, smiling, laughing. Was president of our senior class, and he was kind of the head of the alumni association. He organized that at everything. He died Friday of a brain tumor. So, uh, hey, what? you know, uh, life life is short. Get out there and live it. Boogie. Yeah, it is. And you just yeah. have to remember that you, every day on this earth is a blessing. Yeah. And you just have to say, yeah. I'm going for it. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about Boise, is that it's going to be a total change, game changer for us as far as our activities go. We've been very complacent here. We like, we like where we're at. But that's a whole new exciting little chapter. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a neighborhood to go for walks yeah. and you know, we're kind of yeah. an isolated uh, mm -hmm. uh, condominium complex here that's only, what, 10 buildings, yeah. 11 buildings. It's and, a uh, circle. Yeah, and uh, yeah. kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And it's a great spot to get out in the country quickly. Mm -hmm. though. Yesterday we went oh, out yeah, and uh, uh, I, in 15 years we've lived here, I thought we'd driven every road in the county mm -hmm. But we got on some back roads yesterday that we had not been Unreal. on through uh, vineyards and orchards and farmland and uh, mountains and it was just spectacular Unreal. and the sun was shining, it was cold, Eight Clouds. the sun was shining and these huge fluffy clouds, you know, they call Montana big sky country, but that it's was a really big sunny. sky. And today the weather sucks. Again. It does, it sucks. <laughs> But that's okay. Go for it. That's okay. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So we're exci I'm excited about Boise and those those stories. We are. We have friends there. Um, we're interested in going back to see football games for the college, and we're gonna go to some plays, and we're just gonna get yeah, out. Yeah, I uh, Boise has a great Shakespeare festival. Yeah, they do. You know, and uh, now it's even better because they have seating instead of sitting on the hard ground. Couldn't do it now. No, no, no sitting on the ground. Anyway. Uh, so we're hopeful that it happens, but if it doesn't, we'll uh, shift gears That's and uh, make do where we are. That's it. Yeah. He's letting his hair grow. Yeah. You know, he had that butch thing happen, and he liked it, but we liked it. I his liked hair. how easy it was to take yeah. care of. You know, you don't have to comb it. You just wet your hands and run them through when it's done. But 
I like the way I look better with the I, mean, I like the hair. way you look anyway. Yeah. Either way. I just think you're yeah. the cutest. Beard, no The older beard. she gets, the better I look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything else? Oh, I don't think, think so. Yeah. I mean, we're just fairly kind of happy. Water. We're yeah. feeling good. Feeling good. Um, I feel so much better, even though you know, it's 30 pounds, but yeah. 27, 30 pounds, but I physically feel better. Yeah. I mean, I, I just feel better already. I just, you know, just feel better. Yeah, I can breathe a little better. My uh, my jeans aren't quite as tight as Oh, I was worried about those jeans. <laughs> they were so tight towards, he and I got out, of, it was out of control. It was it was out of control. Oh, I've been more out of control in the past. Well, you have, I have too, but I mean, it, it, we had lost all that weight a couple of years back. And then, you know, it's, I'll tell you what, it is a slippery slope. Yeah. It just goes on just like that. And I said to him yesterday, we were talking about how, how easy it is to pack on those pounds. I mean, it's, we can go out for a pizza and gain three pounds. And literally, it's one of those kinds of. I can walk by a piece of parlor and gain three yeah, pounds. Yeah. I mean, it's just, metabolism sucks. Always has. Yeah. But you get that weight on and you say, okay, I'm taking that weight off. It is just anguish to get that oh, weight it off. Oh, it is. It is. Ah. What you put on in a month, it will take you Two. six months oh, to get off. It's terrible. Awful. Anyway, I can't tell you how girl I am around Weight Watchers, though. I think this is the only way to do it. Yeah. It is, totally. I, I have no... I feel so good about it. I don't have to fight it. I don't have to worry about it. All I do is decide how I'm using my points today. That's what I do. All right, are we done? I think so. Are we done yet? I Anything so. else you want to share? No. no life is good. It's good. Go out there and do it. Yeah. All right. That's it. We gave you a big, long update because we hadn't talked to you in a while. And I don't know. I, I don't see why we can't. Can't what? Do another one. Oh, if we, go, well, if we don't do one before, we will take you on our trip to Boise. Yeah, we'll go house hunting. We'll go together. house hunting together. And that'll be fun. Yeah. That will be fun. It we'll will take be the camera fun. and I just kind of see this house we're looking at we're here. We're kind of going to go off the diet a little bit. There's a... Uh, Oh. Vietnamese restaurant we used to go for these uh, lettuce wrap jayo, which was a deep fried. Uh, oh God, they're so good. Kind of like egg roll. It was so it was good. So good. We looked it up. The restaurant is still there, 25 years later. It's still there. So I'm going. We're going. At least once. <laughs> yep. <laughs> We are going. I think that's really the only food, though, that we because a lot of the restaurants that we used to go to are gone. Yeah. But that one's still there, baby. Yep. We're going. Thank goodness the one that we used to buy finger steaks at. Oh. It, well, now it's a strip joint. It's a topless bar. It yeah. is. But you used to go, the, oh my God, there, I can't believe we eat this stuff. There were these things that Boise was famous for, uh, and there was a place called The Torch. Torch. And the torch was a smoky, stinky, horrible place. Run down little bar. But every time when I was working, the brass came in from the home office and everything. They always had to go to the torch for finger steaks. Finger steaks were little chunks of beef that were breaded and deep fried, and they were served with French fries and uh, and then this dip sauce, dipping was mayonnaise, sauce and, and yeah. oh my god, oh, man. heart attack on a plate. Oh. So good. That's good. Yeah, yeah there. It's now a strip joint, so that's yeah. probably a good thing we don't go there. We might have to go to the yeah. stagecoach for some oh, deep stage. fried uh, oh, right. stagecoach for uh, the bar prawns. The bar prawns. The bar prawns. Oh yeah. gosh, yeah, we don't want. They to talk make about bar -prons. good bar prawns so and they good. make good fried chicken. So, see, I'm working on gaining that 27. You are. I had one place. I John know was the only one I wanted. Now we're talking about yeah. going to get I love fried, fried, fried. You can keep the chicken. I want the prawns. The bar prawns. Oh God, they're good. All right, that's enough. That's it. Get. <laughs> Stop selling. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay, that's it. We're done. All right. We're done here. Thanks it a lot. It was nice talking. It was good talking to you. I hope you guys. We'll try and do it a little more. We will. Often. But we if not, we'll see. We've been Boise. negligent. I'm we sorry. have been. Yeah. Oh my God. It's been crazy around yeah, here. Yeah, we've had a lot of stress. Oh so. my God. All right. So, God, I almost forgot how to do it. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends. Subscribe. There's that little, you know where it says subscribe down there where the, the comments are? There's a little strip that says subscribe. Well, there's a little bell symbol. If you hit that, then when a, a video is uploaded, you'll get like a ding-ling on your phone. And it'll say, so for today, he's just posted a video. I've got a ding-ling in my life every day. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.